Mapping a network printer. First, go under the Start menu and then click on Devices and Printers. Next, click on Add a Printer and then click on Add a Network Printer. Now you're going to scroll down and look to see if your printer is listed. If it is, go ahead and click it and then click Next. Now the driver will be downloaded and the installation will be completed. Once it's finished, you're going to go ahead and click on Next and then Finish. Your printer will show up and if you see the check mark, that means it is the default printer. If you right click, you'll see that the check is also next to set as default printer. If for some reason you wanted to remove the device, you would right click it and click on remove the device. If your printer did not show up in the list, you're going to click on add a printer, add a network printer, and then click on the printer that I wanted wasn't listed. Now click on find a printer in the directory and then click on next. Now you have to make sure that you click in the location box and type in your school's name. Type it in and then click on find now. And now you're going to scroll down in the box and then locate your printer. Again, once you've located it, go ahead and click on it and then click OK. Now it will download the driver and finish the installation. Once this is completed, go ahead and click on Next and then Finish. Your printer will again show up here. Now you can X out. Now when you're ready to print, go ahead and open a document that you'd like to print. For instance, if I wanted to go into Microsoft Word, I would just go up to File, and then under the arrow, under Printer, I could go ahead and click on the printer that I want. If it's the default printer, it will automatically go ahead and print to that location. Once you've printed, you can X out, and then your document will print. And that's how to map a printer.